Let's talk about IV fluid classification, hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic. Where do we classify the following? W, D5W, D10W, LR, D5LR, NS, and D5NS. Well, what have we learned in the previous lessons? We have learned that particles pull water. And if we have water in the center, where do you think will water go? Lesser particles or greater particles? Well, the pulling power of each particle is known as the osmotic pressure. And the greater the number of the particles, the greater the osmotic pressure. Hence, the more particles, the higher the osmotic pressure. We all know where will water go. It goes to the side where there are greater number of particles, shown here. So water goes to the greater number of particles. Assume that water is materialistic. If water were materialistic, then it will choose greater or lesser. It will choose always greater number of particles. Assume that we have the two compartments right now that we have talked about in the earlier videos. We have the intravascular compartment, and in the intravascular compartment, this is your fluid. You have a fluid, and in the intracellular compartment, you also have fluid. In the intravascular compartment, assume that the IV fluid is this, and the intracellular is um, this one. So if we're going to compare the IV with the IC, we know that the IV has a higher or greater number of particles compared with the IC, which means that the IV is what? Hypoparticle or hyperparticle? It's hyperparticle. So hypotonic or hypertonic? It's hypertonic. And being hypertonic as it is, what do you think will happen to water? Will water stay in the IC or will it go to the IV? Well, the answer is water will go to the IV because of the hypertonic solution. And what is the consequence? If water transfers from IC to IV, what will happen? The cell will swell or shrink. The cell will shrink. And that's the reason why IV fluids, hypertonic solutions, are given to clients with edema because hypertonic solutions pull water away from the cells and it decreases edema. That's why hypertonic solutions are given to clients with cerebral edema. Next one. What about we have an IV fluid here and we have an IV fluid in, uh, we have an IC fluid here. We know that the solution we have the particles in the solution is equivalent to the particles in the intracellular compartment, which means that the osmotic pressure in the IV is equivalent to the osmotic pressure in the IC. That's the reason why we call this isotonic. It will not swell the cell, it may not shrink the cell, but it's going to definitely increase the fluid available in the blood vessels. And those fluids will be utilized by the intracellular compartments. Now, what about this one? If we're going to look at the IV, it's two particles. Um, if we're going to look at the IC, we have lots of particles. So the IV fluid here, compared with this, you have lower number of particles compared with the IC. Hence, this is uh, low particles, low tonicity. This is known as hypotonic solution. And if there is a hypotonic solution, the osmotic pressure will also be low. Low particle low tonicity, low osmotic pressure, low ability to pull water. And so, if the hypotonic has low ability to pull water, instead of pulling water, it gives water to the cells. And as it gives water to the cells, what do you think will happen to the cells? If you give a hypotonic solution, the cells will swell. So, let's now look at the different IV fluids. So. It relieves dehydration. The hypotonic fluid will relieve dehydration because it gives water to the cells. Now the W, or the water, will belong where? Water is under hypotonic. D5W, it means that D5, dextrose 5% W, means that water has 5 grams of dextrose per 100 ml. So that's 5%. 5% 5 
5%, 5 per 100, 5 grams of dextrose per 100 ml. That's D5W. If you have 10 grams of dextrose per 100 ml, that's not D5W. That's D10W. And D10W belongs to hypertonic. What about normal saline? Normal saline falls under isotonic. And half normal saline, of course it's half, so that's hypotonic. But if I'm going to put 5 grams of dextrose per 100 ml of normal saline, that's D5NS. And D5NS has more particles, so that's hypertonic. What about 0.9% sodium chloride, which is another term for normal saline? 0.9%, that's isotonic. Anything lower than 0.9 is considered hypotonic, 0 0.45, 0 0.33. And anything higher than 0.9, like 5%, hypertonic. Anything higher than 0.9 like 3%? Hypertonic. What about LR? LR is isotonic. And D5LR? Hypertonic. If we're going to look at these, all the ones with the D5, D5LR, D5NS, the D5s are all hypertonic. Except for what? Except for D5W. Because D5W is isotonic. D5W is isotonic inside the bag, but once it enters the bloodstream, it becomes hypotonic. It provides water to the body. And this is how all of these IV fluids are classified as hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic solutions. So keep studying, keep reviewing, and keep learning.